welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look, of course. Today I'm going to be doing a totally matte smoky eye using my new The Balm Nude Tude Eyeshadow Palette. I just got this and it's in like these smoky, sultry names. Oh, that made me go really dark. So this is actually fully a matte eyeshadow look, specifically for hooded eyes, a super matte smoky eye because I know a lot of hooded eye girls don't like to use shimmers. I wasn't even meant to film this at all and I just got really inspired when I saw this and I actually went a bear with nothing at all on my lower lash line. No eyeshadow and no mascara at all. So just gone a bit rogue today with that. And also someone actually commented on one of my videos very recently. And all they said was, you do not have hooded eyes. I was like, oh, excuse me, who made you the police of who the hooded eye people are? I just want to make it clear that there are so many different versions of hooded eyes. My eyes are 100% a hooded eye. It is a version of hooded eyes. There are so many different versions. You can't just say one type of person has hooded eyes. I don't have the most hooded eyes. I don't have the least hooded eyes. Like there are people that are less hooded eyes than me and then there's people with more. So like no need to argue. That kind of comment is just like not even necessary. And I'm sorry, unless you're like an expert on hooded eyes, I'm not going to play with you like that, just like an annoying pet hate of mine, but anyways, we're going to move on. And of course my memory card runs out, typical. Subscribe if you haven't already, click that button down below. So if you would like to see how I get to this look, please keep watching. First I'm starting off by prepping my eyes using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in medium and then I'm going to be blending that in and setting it with MAC Medium Dark Pressed Powder. Then I'm highlighting my brow bone using the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil using the shimmering side to be particular. Then to start my eyes I'm using the Balm Nude Tude Palette and starting with the colour Sultry which is a matte neutral brown tone and the Morphe G13 I'm applying that into my crease and blending upwards and towards the brow bone in windscreen wiper motions and building up the colour. Then onto the main shadow colour which is for the lid called Sexy which is this matte deep purple red kind of shade. I'm using this big thick brush to pack on the colour and then I'm going to be using the Morphe blush to blend it in up into the crease and soften the lines. Then using the Morphe bullet crease brush and the dark brain brown shade called Sleek, I'm applying that directly into the crease and deepening it up and blending it, rounding it down as well. Then of course I'm going to be cleaning that fallout up because there's always lots of fallout and you know how it is. Then I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Superstar starting with the primer side and then the mascara side. This made my, soup, my lashes super voluminous but it took forever to dry. Then I decided no falsies for today because I really want to wear a natural look for anyone can wear it. Then I'm prepping my skin using the Jolic Rose Water Balancing Mist followed by priming using Benefit Pore Professional in the usual T-zone areas. Then I'm using the Nivea Post Shave Balm which I got the idea from Nikki Tutorials. It is a really good primer and I'm still getting used to it so I'll let you know how I go with that. Once that is dried I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and Tawny and blending that in with a damp blending sponge as usual. I've also been going over it with the Real Techniques buffing brush. Just when I do a second layer, I really like to blend it in with the buffing brush. I don't know why I've been doing it, I just really like a combo. Then I'm highlighting first using my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost in all the usual places. And then I'm going to be blending that in using the same buffing brush that I was just using before for the foundation. I find that this Real Techniques brush blends stuff in it's so amazing. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Light Pale in the same spots as before. And then I'm going to be blending it in again. First with the brush, then I use the damp sponge to get more of a natural dewy finish look. I find that it really helps blending into the skin when you put a damp sponge over the top. Then to set under my eyes and along my jawline, I'm using MAC Light Plus as usual and using the same brushes before, multi-use brushes, gotta love them. And then I'm going to follow by highlighting majorly using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and this flat sponge. While I bake I'm using the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer, Ooh, tongue twister, framing around the forehead and adding to colour to my cheekbones. Then I'm going to be using the Sigma Small Contour Brush to chisel out my cheekbones using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour shade which I didn't show you sorry about that lips I'm using dried cosmetics 1995 lipstick I didn't feel like adding lip liner today so I just went a bit rogue with this sort of ready brownie 
sort of shade, I don't know. Then I'm applying the banana shade in the same areas from the palette as before and using the same brush again and dusting over MAC Medium Dark over my face just to sort of set it all and make it look a little less white, which is what I always do. Then I'm going to use a nice a bronzy shade called Tiki Bronze by MAC and then I'm highlighting, popping that highlight using Becca Champagne Pop and patting it at the top along my cheekbones, really layering it up and into my temple and of course on the tip of my nose, which I always do. Then I'm using one shimmery shade called Sassy. It's an amazing white for the inner corner of my eyes just to make them pop, make them look bright and much more open. It really is great for smaller hooded eyes. Then just spraying my face using MAC Fix Plus. And there you have it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys found that really easy to follow and that it was helpful to you guys. I don't normally do a lot of matte, matte smoky eyes. So this is something different and totally for hooded eyes because I know a lot of you with extremely hooded lids can't really always wear shimmery colors that much. So I hope this helped you in some way, shape or form. Like this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below if you have any other suggestions or if you have any other videos requests because you guys know I appreciate that stuff and thank you again so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all very very soon bye